Hello and welcome to MTB Cooking. Today we'll share with you how to cook some braised pork shanks, also known as pork knuckles. And uh, we cook them with a crunchy crackling on the top. So let's start by uh, taking our pork shanks. We have uh, washed them and dried them completely and just using a paper towel. And this is essential to remove all the bacteria or whatever might be on the outside of it. Then we take a sharp knife to uh, cut in the skin and we do this in order for the cracklings to become nice and crispy in the oven when cooked but also this will allow a lot of flavor to go into the meat through the, the cuts. We have here taken some normal kitchen salt and we will rub this into the shanks. We do this so that we can again have a nice and crispy crackling surface as well as a good salty taste because at the moment or before adding salt these pork shanks are completely au naturel. We'll just show you the second one here for good order. And then we're actually ready to plate up these little beauties. So we've taken a baking tray and we'll uh, place them with the thick side facing downwards because that's the part that will take up a lot of juiciness from the other ingredients that we'll put into the baking tray. We will add carrots and we'll add onions that we've cut up in thin strips. Then we add garlic cloves that we have cut up just finely, roughly, whatever. It'll just give a good taste. We will also add in a beer. We use a light beer, so there's alcohol in it for sure, but it's a light colored beer, so it's a pilsner. And of course, this is a German dish, so a German beer would be preferable. This will give a lot of great taste to the meat as well as to the sauce that we'll cook in this baking tray. We also add in some stock and here you can use vegetable, chicken, veal, it's up to you. We just want to add a little bit more liquid so that the baking tray is almost full of liquid. Of course you should be able to balance it on its way to the oven. We will add in also black pepper freshly grounded and this will give a great taste to the whole dish so do not hesitate to uh, to add plenty and we add a bay leaf for this little spicy touch and we have preheated our oven to 150 degrees celsius so that's 300 degrees fahrenheit we'll put in the tray for two hours and 45 minutes and then we'll crank up our oven to a maximum which in our case is 250 degrees celsius 480 degrees fahrenheit and we've turned on the grill as well we leave the tray in for another 15 minutes, but do keep an eye on them because you don't want your cracklings to burn. So at this stage, our shanks are perfectly cooked. As you could hear, they are very crispy on the outside and that was exactly the result we looked for. First of all, we'll put the shanks aside and then we'll occupy ourselves with the sauce because we are going to do something beautiful with this sauce. It has so much taste in it. But first of all, we'll actually separate the vegetables from the liquid. We don't need these anymore. They've given a lot of good taste to the sauce and then they have gotten very, very soft. So let's just get rid of these. What we're left with here in our pot is the sauce that has a layer of fats on the surface. And so we'll actually, first of all, just get rid of this fat, just lightly with a spoon, like we do here, in order for the sauce not to become too fatty. Then we'll add in a mix of flour and water. This will thicken the sauce nicely so that it's not too liquidy. And we're just keeping our pot here at a medium to high heat. We want to cook it through both because we want it to go nice and hot again, but also because we don't want any flour taste, so we'll actually cook out the flour taste. We added in black pepper and a little bit of coloring. We have this brown coloring in Denmark, which is used for sauces so that they turn brown. It's only the matter of color, there's no taste in that. And then we add a splash of white wine vinegar. But do just remember to heat up this sauce nicely so that it's nice and hot when it hits the plate. We will now plate up, so we add a nice pork shank to each of our plates. We also serve with these uh, cornichons or pickles, which is a classic again in Germany for um, Oktoberfest. We serve with boiled potatoes and then the delicious intense sauce. If you think it's too much to serve an entire shank per person, it's completely up to you how you want to do it. But there is a bit of a fun element about sitting there battling with it on your own plate. As 
as you can hear, the cracklings are just perfectly crispy. It's amazing, really. And on the inside, we find the tender, juicy pork meat, which tastes just amazing. And it's a very cheap cut, this one, so it's not even something that will cost you a fortune to cook. It's just a comfort food, world class, uh, and uh, I mean, it can even battle with a good steak, I would say. Thank you for having watched this Oktoberfest pork shank video. We're so happy to have you with us. If you haven't yet, then please do subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. You're very welcome to also leave a comment below it. Uh, if you have any recipes you want us to cook for you or you have any comments, you really are welcome to leave them below. Thank you so much. This is MTB Cooking on YouTube, cooking comforting food, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye bye.